Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys um, a very nice app that I've been using. It's called P Easy PDF Reader Pro. It's a very good app, an awesome app. I've been using it on the phones that I've been having and it has been a lifesaver for me because uh, with this you can not only can you it, uh, read PDF files but you can also edit PDF files or you can um, write in text text fields in the PDF files you can even um, um, sign documents and email the documents as well that's that that has been a lifesaver for me I've been using it for that so let me show you guys um, some parts here of the app so here you got my documents this you would have all your documents here you would also have see all your recent documents here it looks very nice like a nice bookshelf right there so these are all the recent app, uh, files that I've been using it here here you 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 click over here and it, it will scan your device and it will find all the folders containing PDF files or PDF files and from here you could go ahead and open one up like for example let's say I want to open this I got a I got some some I got some comics in PDF format like you can see right there you can also read um, comics the only thing that I don't like is that um, since this is just like a PDF reader you can only swipe up with some documents so that's pretty cool right there very nice but like I said if you got a folder with documents you could go just go ahead here and open the documents like you can see right there like it's a couple documents right there here you can also link your Dropbox and your Google Docs account to the, the to the app and open open um, those files from from here and that's it okay so let's open up a file that I've been using recently uh, this is a form that I use in my work and um, like you can see when all these highlighted sections means that you can edit and you can enter information into these highlighted sections um, the ones that are not highlighted that means that you would actually have to write over or you can enter the text by using one of these tools in the top these this in the header is all the tools you can use to edit your documents so it's very nice right there so let's go ahead you can also use a landscape landscape looks even better I like the way it looks landscape because you have a better view of the documents and fields so let's go ahead here let's say I want to enter uh, last name and, and middle name let's go enter uh, mark the geek right there <laughs> very cool I hope you guys can see that and here you can enter your social security bum, 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 bum. and so on so on and then for example some documents that have like check marks so, so that's very cool there and for example let's say I need to circle something all you have to do is for example press here boom and circle that and that's it I can also change the color of the circle if you want to change the color to something more professional like here you go ahead and use black let me see if it worked there it goes so you could go ahead and circle documents you can also resize it like I said right there this is very convenient for a lot of people so that's why I'm showing it um, like I said here you can enter more file more files and date you could go ahead and enter a date today's date is uh 16 i believe let me see and july 2012 very nice um for example employee signature so let's say you need to enter a signature you could go ahead and press that and mark geek <laughs> like that so you're done there and right there once you get your signature done you can you, you can resize it you can make it smaller let me see right there and you can also move it around let me see if I can move it around and uh, right there so you can go ahead and move it around you can also use a stylus 
um, if you want to type one of the types that I like to use styluses you can use the styluses and it works even better too uh, let's say I want to do this I could go here and signature here look at that oh, very cool so and that's it so once you're done with the signature processing and that's it and like I said you could also change the color the opacity and everything and uh, with the stylus you could go ahead and resize it as well now I don't think this one is you can resize let me see if you can resize this one yes you can <laughs> look at that <laughs> perfect so you got black ink you got blue ink you got blue ink and it works perfectly very nice and like I said look at this it works it looks very nice the document right there ho ho and from here you could go ahead and email it if you need to email it all you gotta do is press the setting button right here press uh, press this these button and go send to when you press send to you could go ahead and send the Bluetooth Dropbox Gmail let's go ahead and choose Gmail and here let's go ahead and choose uh, an email um, you could choose uh, maybe put my okay so I chose another email there I'm sending it to another email that I have and you can also here like you can see the attachment is gonna send it as an attachment you can also go ahead and, and write here testing app and subject let's go ahead testing PDF and let's go ahead and send it so now it's sending the message I'm gonna try to open it in my inbox so you guys can see how you can open it up okay so once you send the email and you receive your email notification that you have received your email so like right here right here you can see it let's click on it and I could go ahead and there it is that's uh, it send the email you could go here view the email you could choose to view it with PDF or you could choose to preview it right there look at that without leaving this is without leaving the email section and over here you can also it lets you create it lets you add uh, a folder from your device that way you could you could put every PDF folder in a PDF file in that folder and you could have your folder have this app sync your files in that folder always that's very nice too here if you press here you could go ahead and make a memo and you can name it whatever you want you could create the size of the memo and page it actually is going to create a PDF file where you could go ahead and you could go crazy you know uh, writing all you gotta do is choose over here no And from there, you can go ahead and send send it as an attachment, a snapshot, whatever. Send to th thumbnail view, <laughs> right there. And that's it, guys. Um, so this app is actually like I think it's like three ninety nine. I got it in in a sale. There was a sale, and I I actually bought the pro. But and I've been using it since then. And it's it's it has been a lifesaver, uh, especially those times when you have to sign a document and you're in the road, and you need to sign it out and send it. And that's that happened to me once, and I had this on my phone, and it was awesome. It worked flawlessly. I had to sign a document and date it, and that's it. 
so it work it works it actually works so let me know what you guys think about this app and if you have another P, uh, pdf reader and editor that you like more than this let me know so i can go ahead and try it so guys um hope you guys liked the video this was easy pdf reader pro on the google nexus 7 tablet till next time